In this video we're going to discuss how to measure your intake and exhaust vents for our PVS series vent screens. On the left hand side we have our rodent screens which are designed for use during winter and our right hand side we've got our insect screens that are designed for use during spring, summer, and fall. Now the easiest way to determine the size of your vent termination is to actually take a look at the hub itself. Generally speaking, most vents are terminated outside of a home with a hub and they point downward. So if you look closely at the hub itself, we'll try to get it in focus here, you can see the number two is embossed on it. That's because this is a two inch hub. And it'll be on the other side as well. You'll see it right there and right there. Now our PVS RS2 and PVS IS2 vent screens are designed to fit into two inch hubs. Now the same applies for three inch hubs. They're also marked as well. You'll see a three, three, and we flip it over here. We've got another three and another three. So this is a three inch hub. So our PVS RS3 and PVS IS3 are designed to fit into three inch vent termination hubs. Now it's not too often that you run into applications where four inch vent termination hubs are used in residential applications, but that is marked as well. You'll see four inch, four inch, and four inch. Now while we're on the topic of four inch, a common mistake that people make when they measure their vent termination hubs is they'll measure the outside diameter. Now if we can do that, get that in front of the camera there so you can see, well that looks like it's four inches. But here's the problem. PVS series vent screens are designed to fit inside the vent termination hub. Now the reason why we do that is because we don't want anything on the outside that's actually going to cover this outer portion here and potentially collect leaves and other debris that may otherwise block an intake or exhaust vent. You definitely don't want that. So as you'll see, our PVS series vent screens fit inside with an internal wire clip. And we'll get to that in a minute. But if you can't find the size embossed on the vent termination hub, the next best thing to do is to actually grab a rule. So you can go ahead and measure this. We'll get this in focus here. A two inch hub is going to have a two and three eighths inch inside diameter. A three inch hub is going to have a three and a half inch inside diameter. And we'll get our four inch back into focus here. A four inch hub has a four and a half inch inside diameter. Now it's most common for residential applications to use two and three inch vent terminations. On rare occasion you'll actually run into four inch vent terminations. So we'll take a look at our screens that we've got right here. Now that we've covered the sizing, now it's kind of important to cover the application. If you want complete all season vent protection, you need both the rodent screen and insect screen. During winter, when temperatures get below freezing and insects aren't active, you want to use our PVS RS series vent screens. These have a 90% advertised airflow rating. Technically, it's a 91% screen in use. And what that does is it really opens up the vents. Because what happens during winter, cold air gets very dense, and dense air is difficult to pull through a screen. Another thing that happens is on an exhaust vent, since high efficiency appliances produce condensate, that will actually build on the wires. And you may lose 2-3% to capacity once the heat cycle stops. But the next time it starts, it will melt that ice. 
So it opens it back up and the whole process repeats itself. Now we use these during the winter time in northern Canada where it gets bitterly cold. <clears throat> now during spring, summer, and early fall, you definitely want to use the IS series screen. And the reason for that is bees, wasps, will enter an unprotected vent. They can even get, get past ordinary rodent screens. They'll actually get inside a vent and build a nest within the pipe itself or actually within the furnace cabinet. So when that happens, if it's an inactive nest, it's generally not too expensive. But large nests, they can cost in the thousands of dollars to get remedied, to have them removed and have the appliance return the service. So let's go ahead and move these out of the way. And we'll take a look at this one right here. And what I want to do is show you how easy it is to remove our internal wire clip and install it. So this is installed right now. And what you want to do is take a nail. You don't need any special tools. You don't need a drill or anything to that effect. Take your nail and then just follow the wire. Grab it at the edge and follow it to the middle. And pull it towards you. And now once you have it towards you, pull it to where it's sticking straight out and then push in on the wire and then pull it right out. Now our internal wire clips may be reused indefinitely. Year after year after year, you can use them. So as you'll see, the inner flange on this, that's what stops our vent screen from falling in. That's where it rests up against. So if you're putting our vent screens in for the first time, what you want to do is go to your vent terminations and make sure you wipe them out with a moist cloth to get any debris out of the way and dry them up. Once you've got the vent termination hub cleaned, then you can take the vent screen and simply put it in place. Slides right in there. Take your internal wire clip, take one end, put it all the way up against the housing of the vent screen, and hold it there with your thumb. Take the other end and feed it in. Real simple. Now once you've got it in place, what you want to do is expand that internal wire clip and make sure it's pressed all the way back. Very simple. That's installed. Now obviously the, the benefit of using an internal wire clip is you can switch over to the insect screen when the seasons arrive and then switch back over to the rodent screen when need be. Now, there may be applications where our vent screens are used outside of the ordinary furnace, hot water heater, or boiler. And certainly in those situations, if you have any questions, we encourage you to read our Frequently Asked Questions page. We do cover a lot of information there that links off to other pages with more detailed information. But if you encounter something specific or you still have questions, use a contact form on our website. Normally we answer questions within one business day and whatever the question may be, typically we've got an answer for it. And season, seasonally, we do get a lot of questions you know, regarding which vent screens to use and we just want to be very clear in this video that during winter you want to use the PVS RS series vent screen and during spring, summer, and fall, you want to use a PVS IS series vent screen. It's important to use both, and they don't go in one over another. You remove it, replace it with the vent screen that you need for the season. And in our store, you'll find all season, all season vent screen kits. And that's where you get your best savings at instead of purchasing individually. So on that note, if you have any additional questions, please go ahead and contact us. You can reply to this video, uh, leave a comment there, we can answer there, or reach out to us at our website. Thank you, and have a great day.